Okay, Boker Tov. Uh, today's staff is Tet Zion, uh, 16, and um, uh, we pick up at the top of Tet Zion um, That would make it the 29th day of the Omer, right? The Ad 13 rule. Okay, so, um, and we are in the middle of the second parak, or we just began the second parak, which moves us beyond Shaloli Shmo and gets us into the general question about all the different circumstances which invalidate a sacrifice, going from thought to more concrete things or to more things that relate to the status of the person. And we had a whole list of types of people who, if they did the avoda, invalidate the sacrifice. Although we started with the Kabbalah Saddam, not the Shrita, because the Shrita is kosher with a non Kohen, so we wanted to have the full list. So we started with the Kabbalah Saddam. And we have uh, started with the idea that a non kohen invalidates. And the Gemara wants not just, now the point here is not just that the person violates and is not permitted to bring the sacrifices under these various case states. Not, you're not a kohen, you're drunk, you're a uh, whatever, you know, you're, you're tame, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that it actually invalidates. So how do we know that's true by the non kohen So the Gemara learned it out based on, from a kabachomer or tzadhar shove, from the fake case of somebody, some, of, of a kohen who has a blemish and a kohen who is tame, and they invalidate, and therefore the same is true about a non kohen Okay, and the general rule is anybody who is not allowed to bring invalidates. So the Gemara is now going to ask, okay, we get that that's the rule, but how do you know that a non Kohen is is not allowed to bring? So we pick up with that at Zion and Olive. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, about five lines from the top. Um, at Sada Shavash of the common denominator between Tamei and Balmun, Shamus Harim, that they are pro- prohibited against bringing when they are a Kohen, when they are, when they are in that state. Um, the Im Abdu, and if they did the Avoda, Chilulu, they uh, desecrated it. They 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 invalidated it. Afani Avizar, I will bring a, a non Kohen, Shumus Har, he is forsworn against, he is prohibited to do the Avoda. The Im Avad, and if he does it, Chilel, he invalidates it. So the Gemara says, Minal and Musar. Now, where do you know that a non Kohen is not allowed to do the Avoda? Imi Vinazru, if it's from the verse that they shall separate themselves from Kachay Benesha, with the simple sense that that verse is talking about a Kohen who is Tamei, but we had a possible reading of it to include a non Kohen. So if that's true, Chilu Begufek Siv. If you're going to read that to be about a non Kohen, which is not how we're reading it now, but if you're going to read that to be referring to a czar, then you don't need to make a Tzar HaShava, common denominator. That verse it explicitly says, So the simple sense of that verse is about Tamei, um, but if it's about a non kohen you don't need to go any further. So clearly that's not how we're reading that verse. So we're, we're saying it's Sahar Shavah, so where are we going to get the sense that a non kohen is prohibited? So, Ella mi v'zar lo yikrav alechem. A czar, a non kohen cannot come... A, close to you, meaning and do the service that you, the Koning, do. So that's pretty explicit. Okay, so since a non coin is not allowed to be a voter, the Tzad Shava tells us that he also violates the Korban, you know, invalidates the Korban, I should say. Eagle Mifrach, but you can challenge this Tzad HaShava. Ma'ala Tzad HaShava Shabahen Shekein Lohutru Bebama. A, the case of a czar is allowed to bring outside of the Beis HaMikdash, right? The same way, I mean, it really gets to the idea that a Kohen is like one of the Kalim of the Beit HaMikdash. You know, it's one of the upper, part of the apparatus of the Beit HaMikdash. So therefore, only in the Beit HaMikdash does it have to be with a Kohen. Out of the Beit HaMikdash, it doesn't have to be with the Kohen. But ironically, <laughs> out of the Beit HaMikdash, you, the, idea that you, the idea that you cannot have a mum, a blemish, still applies, which is like really strange, because we assume mum goes with Kohei, mm-hmm. okay? So the problems of Tuma and blem and mum still apply out of the base of Mikdash, but a non Kohen does not. So maybe even though a blemish, I mean, did I say blemish and mum, same thing, the same thing, even though a blemish and being Tamei um, invalidate, maybe they invalidate because those are universal. Those are problems that exist even out of the base of Mikdash, whereas a non Kohen that doesn't exist, maybe if he does it in the base of Mikdash, he doesn't invalidate. Okay, that's not a bad svara. I mean, if you have a mm-hmm. guy that sometimes is okay, even though the sometimes is in a completely different scenario out of the base of Mikdash, but maybe he's not so out of bounds, maybe he doesn't invalidate. Okay, so the Gemur says, um, um, look, um, look, fine, you're right. If we were just to learn it from Tummy and Moon, we couldn't learn it because those. Remain invalid out of the base of Mikdash. So lo tema tame yochiach. So fine, put tame aside. Um, Ella ema onin yochiach. We'll do it from the common denominator between a bal mum and an onin, a kohen who has just suffered a loss. Okay, a, de- a person in the family just died. 
Mala So owning by itself, you can't apply that to a czar because Mala Onin she can't also be Maser. Onin has a unique idea that he can't eat Maser. A czar, a non Kohen, can eat Maser. So Onin is a very heavy status and you can't generalize. So Balmun Yechil. Okay, but a Balmun can eat Maser. Balmun can even Korbanot. So it's not about the inability to eat Maser. And Chazor Adin Lorezek Reze. So again, Maser and Balmun, um, Onin and Balmun each have unique characteristics. Let's try to identify the common denominator. The common denominator is what? That they are both prohibited and they invalidate. So a czar is prohibited and he invalidates. And now you're going to come and say, ah, but wait a minute. But they, but you know, a czar can bring outside the base of Mikdash. So presumably the answer will be, if we're introducing Onain, it sounds like the Gemara wants to say, maybe an Onain can also bring outside of the base of Mikdash. Let's take a look. Okay. So the Gemara is going to say, one minute, those can't guys can't bring in on a bum on a czar can bring in a bum up. No, so the Gemara says, Maski Fla La Rav Summer Bray de Rava, Uman Le Melanda Oni, Nasir Bibama. Whoever told you that an Oni couldn't bring down a bama, you don't have any basis to say that. The Amashari Bibama, I love that. It's like the Gemara says, says who? Okay, maybe an Oni could bring on a bama. So that allows us to make a Tzad Shava. Since we have no evidence that an Oni can't bring on a bama, we're going to assume an Oni can bring on a bama unless proven otherwise. And therefore, the Tzad Shava shows us that even people that can bring on a bama, if they're prohibited in the base of Mikdash, are invalidate. And the same is true about a non kohen Since he's prohibited in the base of Mikdash, he invalidates. So that's one limud from the Tzad Shava of Onain and Balmun. Okay. Rav Meshar Sha'amar Asir Kavachomer Miyoshev. It's a Kavachomer from a kohen who does it while he is sitting. Which is interesting because now we're sort of moving from a personal status to a way in which the avoda is done. Okay, so my Yoshev Sha'ochel, a person who's sitting can still eat the korbanot, eat even the kachim kachim. You don't have to eat your chata standing up. So imavachilel, but if he does the avoda sitting, he he he, he invalidates it. Zar she'eno ochel, a zar who's not allowed to eat the kachim kachim. Eno din shimavachilel. How much more so does he invalidate? Okay, so again, like a type of a kavu chomer from a kohen who's sitting. No, my liyoshev shaking pasul edus. Okay, so well, no, a yoshev, a yoshev maybe has greater invalidity than a non kohen because if somebody is sitting, they can't bear testimony. Now, if you ask me, like, what the heck does bearing testimony have to do? You know, if anything, might, we might want to say, what about sitting you're not allowed to do Shimon Esri while you're sitting? It's a little more relevant to the world of Korban. No, I don't know what sitting has to do with uh, with bearing testimony. Has to, is it all relevant? But some other person says, ah, maybe sitting is a special category. So you can't assume just because you're invalid at sitting, by sitting, that because sitting is invalid by a lot of things, you can't assume that a non kohen is invalid. So we're going to, again, go to what Tzad HaShav had, okay? Um, so before we get to that, we're going to say miyoshev tamad chacham. Ah, no. Sometimes we let somebody, keep, you know, bear testimony when they're sitting. If it's a tamad chacham, we show them respect and we let them give their testimony while they're sitting. Which would seem to indicate, if we're going to make an exception for a tamad chacham, it would seem to indicate that it's not a real invalidity mm-hmm. to begin with. It's just an issue about, you know, sort of like propriety or whatever. But anyway, no, malashem yoshev shikim pasuadus. No, as long as there's an example of a yoshev that's invalid by adus, even there are some examples. That aren't that makes Yoshev weightier, and you can't learn out from the case of sitting. And the Gemara says, uh, no, not, eh, Don't tell me that there's an example of sitting that's invalid. Since there's a type of a sitting that is valid, we can still make the Kavachome. Okay, and therefore, if sitting is invalid, it, you know, invalidate sacrifice, and sitting is not weighty, so weighty because there's t- cases of sitting that you can even bear testimony, so don't try to sort of bracket it because of that. So if sitting it so and therefore you can also say the same if a sitting in that if a case sitting invalidates a non coin also invalidates. Um the the a little parah, and if you're gonna say no, at the end of the day, you can't learn out from sitting because there are cases of sitting which is invalid by bearing testimony, even though there are some cases like a Pamukham where you can bear testimony, sitting is weightier, you can't learn out from that. So Asyam Yoshev Michar Mihanach. Make a common denominator between Yoshev and one of the other cases we had, a Balmum, Tame, an Onin, any one of those other people. Okay, and you do the common denominator, and the common denominator tells you that even if it's what do you call it, that anybody who's prohibited invalidates. Okay. So now, of course, as we've known, with the challenge of the common denominator was, oh, but those guys are invalid by Obama, mm-hmm. a non kohen is kosher by Obama. So if we're going to throw in the idea of sitting, the goal here, the only problem we really need to solve here about our whole Tzav is we don't want all of the cases to be cases that are 
Pasul Babama, because the czar, and we want to make sure that the Tzad HaShava eliminates that way of narrowly defining it. So therefore, what we're looking to do is to say that the case of a Kohen who's sitting um, is actually going to be a Mekosha Babama. And then we'll say, so you have these people that are inval that, that are not allowed to do it, and they invalidate, and therefore a non-Kohen also is not allowed to invalidate. And, among, and don't tell me, oh, but a non-Kohen can work, can do it on the Bama. Among those people that invalidate is these people that also are allowed to do it on a Bama. So who is that? So how do you know that a Yoshev is permitted to do the Avoda? You can do it sitting on a Bama. So the Gemara says, Vim Tim Shola, um, so the Gemara says, Yoshev to Kasha Bibama Minalon, Amar Kra, La Amod Lifne Hashem Le Sharto. How do you know you have to be standing if, when you do the Avod? It's because it says to stand before God to serve Him. Lifne Hashem, the little Lifne Bama. The whole like, difference of a Bama is a Bama is you can you know, pray anywhere to God, but it doesn't mean that that's the place of God, right? The base of Mikdash is the Makam of the Shechina. That's where, you know, you know, I will dwell there. So the idea of Lifnei Hashem is not a concept about a Bama. You can be Makri, but not a sense of, it's not everywhere you build a Bama. God is assumed to be like, in a, you know, more present than anywhere else. Okay, so therefore, we have a Tzad Shava that these various people, Balmum, Tome, Onen, Yoshev, and all these people are prohibited and they invalidate. So is Zar also, who's prohibited and validates. And amongst that list of people are people who also even can do it on Obama. So don't try to say a Zar shouldn't invalidate because he can do it on Obama. Some of those people also can do it on Obama. And nevertheless, they validate. So the same is true about a Zar. So that gets us Zar. We're going to go through the list. Onen. Okay, each one of these, we're going to want to know where they, how do we know that they invalidate? Along the way, because this is the nature of the Tzad Shava, which is what the Gemara is most going to return to, we're going to also mostly point out how we know they're not allowed to. But the focus is how do we know that they invalidate? Onen. Nolan. How do you know that an Onen invalidates? Dechsiv. By the Kohen Gadol. Umina Mekdash lo yitzei velo yichalel. So he, the Kohen Gadol cannot leave the Beit HaMikdash. And even though he does not leave the Beit HaMikdash, he will not desecrate the sacrifices because he's allowed to, or he's obligated, whatever, to stay in the Beit HaMikdash, even if he's an Onin, even if a, a family member just died. So for him, he does not desecrate the sacrifices. So the implication is, Ha'acher shelo chilel. Somebody else who would stay in the Beit HaMikdash, a normal Kohen, who is not told to stay in the Beit HaMikdash, a normal Kohen who's supposed to become Tamei, you know, for an immediate relative, if he chooses to stay in the base of Mikdash, even if he didn't become Tamei, just because a relative, immediately relative, died, he would actually desecrate. So that's a pretty good read. He doesn't, the Kohen Gadol doesn't go out and doesn't desecrate. A normal Kohen who were to stay would desecrate. Is okay. A positive commandment to deal with the Leviat Is that what it is? Or? Yeah, for the for normal Kohen? Right. Yeah, yeah, so I normal know. Kohen is obligated, actually, Lavi, to, and the Gemara even says, Mitami Mosov al Karcho. You actually right. force him to become Tamei to, to tend to his immediate relative. Yeah. Right. Even but if you didn't like the relative. Exactly. Well, we're talking about media. We're talking about father, mother, right, right, yes. But that is correct, yes. I know. Sometimes you don't like your immediate relatives also. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but yes, Gemara even says that there was one Kohen who refused to become Tamei, and they forced him to become Tamei, okay, that part of the way of showing respect to this relative is that it goes so far that you even, you know, violate and compromise your sanctity of kahuna for the sake of tending to, 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 to the dead. Okay, so that's where you learn a lot of the basic halachot about, about Avelus and so on are learned from the laws of Kohanim. Okay. Um, we learn it from the following verse. Haini Krivu, okay, so when Moshe says to Aaron, why did your, uh, why did you burn the chatat you know, when uh, during the Miluim, right? We just read this relatively recently. Why did you burn the chatat? You know, um, you should have eaten it, but Makom Kadosh, mm -hmm. even though, you know, Nazav and Aviyu died, you were supposed to eat it. And Aaron replies, they ate, I mean, it's a very hard puzzle to parse. Did they today or they today offer their chatas and olah and these things happened to me? If I would have eaten it, it would have been good in the eyes of God. So like, ah, uh, what do you say? So the basic way the Chazal are parsing this pasuk in two ways, okay? But the basic point is that another of you died, so they were owning it. Okay, now, Elazar and Tamar were Kohen Hedyots, who cannot do the Avoda Onein. Aaron is a Kohen Gadol who can do the Avoda Onein. Guys with me? Mm -hmm. All right, so his response is, Ein hayom ikrivu et chatatam 
ahead for full term. Okay, blah 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 blah. So the way the way we're gonna read it is the following. Cain? They are meaning, and Moshe said to Aaron, Moshe was trying to sort of like help out Aaron. He said, maybe the reason you burnt it was because you were mock, you, you, uh, you know, Nadav and uh, um, um, Elozoni Tamar were mock with it and they were owning him after Nadav and Aviyu died. And maybe because they, as calling head yotes, you know, brought it uh, brought it while they were owning. They invalidated it. According to Gadol, that's what we're trying to sort of say here. According to Hedyot, who brings it as an own aim, invalidates. Okay, and maybe that's why you had to burn it. And Aaron says, no, pain I am? Do you think they're the ones who brought it today? No, I was the one who brought it, and I'm a Kohen Gadol. And a Kohen Gadol is allowed to bring it as an own aim. So that's not why it was burnt. So why was it burnt? Okay, so we'll worry about that in a minute. But it's a anyway, of Tika okay, fine. So what? You're known in, known in is Makri Domain. Kongal is Makri Domain. Anyway, so if you read it this way, the point is, since it's right, like, no, they didn't do it. That's not why. So if they had done it, it would have invalidated. So you learn out that a Kohen head yote, who brings as an own name, invalidates. Okay? So, Hainayom Ani Krafti. Michal, from that you can infer, the Inu Akriv, if they had been the ones who brought it, Shapi Storif, it would have been good that it was burnt. Okay. For every five. So those are two ways of learning it out. One, they're both about the fact that if a coin Gadol does it, he's fine, and the inference being that if not a coin Hedyot does it, it invalidates. So the Morris says, Rabbi Eliezer, my time ago, Amar, Umina Mitash, Lo Yitzay. Why do you have to go to the story about Aaron and, and not even, and, you know, not even Avil? Why not go to the story of the Pasuk? The coin Gadol doesn't go out and doesn't invalidate. Somebody else who doesn't go out does invalidate. So the Gemara says, um, uh, because it doesn't tell you if somebody else goes out that they do invalidate. Meaning, this is the the problem, right? We normally see think if P then Q means if not P then not Q, but that's not true, right? You could say like you know if you know you know if the Mets win the World Series, I'll give you ten dollars. It doesn't mean if they don't win, I won't give you ten dollars. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, right? So anyway, so if a coin Godel doesn't go out. He won't be. He won't invalidate. If a coin got, if a coin head yote doesn't go out, maybe he will. Maybe he won't invalidate. You don't know that if a coin, it means that if a coin head yote stays, he will invalidate. Maybe the pasuk is telling you the opposite. If a coin gadol who's so holy, you might think that he, you know, his he would invalidate. You know, because he's an owner. No, even he doesn't invalidate. But a coin head yote also doesn't invalidate. So you can't learn it out from the fact that a coin gadol doesn't invalidate to assume that it means that a coin head yote does invalidate. That, you can't get that from the puzzle, okay? Of course, this, you could say, I mean, it's not clear here either, but if we're going to read it, did they do it? No, that, that you would have been right. I did it, so you're not right. So therefore then, I mean, obviously it's not in the puzzle, but the way we're choosing to read the puzzle, you know, obviously could be said, would imply that, you know, if they did it, then, um, you know, that, then it would have invalidated it. Okay, so the Gemara says, my time alone are so why not learn it out from Haini Krivu? Because he says that the point is that you're misreading the pasuk. The pasuk is that he's not is that it was burnt because it was tame. It wasn't burnt because of the owning issue, and that's not and that's not how we like read the pasuk at all. Okay, so I don't want to get so meaning. Let me just check Rashi quickly. Oh, because the way we read it that way, it's, the underscore is not ain. The underscore is ain hayom. Meaning, okay, and it's not really about being makriv, it's about when they ate it. That basically the point is that an onain, according to this read, an onain is not allowed to eat the korban the day of aninos, but by the nighttime, you're allowed to eat. And according to this, the reason it was burnt was because since they didn't eat it during the day, because during the day they were owning him, mm -hmm. so they were leaving the meat untended to, and something happened that became tame. So the reason it became tame was because they were, didn't eat it during the day. So therefore, what Aaron is saying is not the underscore of hey, it's in hayom, he krivas chatasavas This was brought today while they were owning him, and therefore couldn't be eaten today, and that's why it became tame, and that's why we had to burn it at night. Okay, but so anyway, yeah, so just don't see. worry, we're going to get to a whole section of the Gemara that's going to unpack that whole debate between Moshe and Aaron. We're not going to unpack it now. No, no that's okay. fine, but, but in terms of, so no one's saying that an owning can bring it, but then not necessarily eat it? You can bring it, you eat it? 
Can't just say you do woman, not the other. That's correct. The Kohen Gadol brings it as an owning, but does not eat it as an owning. That's all the Kohen right, so Gadol is makriv owning vein or ochel. Right, so then why can't, just be, why can't that just be the answer? In other words, why wasn't eaten? Because of an owning. I that can bring it. That is the answer. That's the way this reads it. The reason it wasn't eaten. But why was it spurred? Not why wasn't it eaten. Why was it burnt? Well, if we okay. don't eat it, then it becomes no time. Then you have to burn it, right? That's only if you don't eat it at night. So that's the application of Aninos, because if you hold Aninos Lila, since we couldn't eat it not today and not tonight, and by then it would be no time, that's why we burnt it. So there's two, those are, those are the, that's the other version. Anyway. That's all I was trying to say. But you fine. Know, okay. That's the other version. That's the Aninos. Okay, anyway. So we have two ways of reading it. Either the inference from the Kohen Gado by the Pasuk Mina Mikras Yetze, or by a way of reading the exchange of motion Aaron. Either way, the point is the same. A Kohen Gado can bring it as an Onain. A Kohen Hedid who brings it as an Onain invalidates it. Okay. Um, okay. Dei Rebbe Shmel Tana, Asik Havachom Mimi Balmum. Okay, one is to learn a, a direct Pasuk about that category, about Zar, about Onain. The other is part of a general rule. That's, the, you know, learn it out from a Balmum, make a general rule. Okay, Ma Balmum Shaochelim Shaochel Balmum can even eat the korban im avachilel if he does the avoda he does it he he you know he invalidates it onen she ain't ochel ain't ozit im avachilel an onen that doesn't eat right how much more so should he invalidate so that's your standard kavachomer we're going to learn it from Balmum as you can guess we're pretty soon going to get to a tzav hashava okay fine okay mile of Balmum she can also book craving to make same thing Gemara said yesterday no Balmum maybe has a greater a greater power to invalidate because of the idea of mum applies not only to the Kohen who brings it but to the animal itself so that's a bigger a bigger problem okay Zar Yochiach, okay, no, from a, well, now since we just got through proving it from a non Kohen, we'll take an example about a Zar. The idea of a Zar doesn't apply to the Korban, obviously. You don't have to have a Korban being a Kohen. Okay, anyway, so therefore the, so therefore, the combination of Zar and Balmum shows you a general principle. Oh, wait a minute, a Zar, you never stop being a Zar. A Balmum, it could be a Mum over, it could be a temporary Mum. Okay, Balmum Yochiach, Balmum, okay, a Balmum and Onen, I should say, both have Takana. Right, a person will stop being an Onain by the next day, and the Balmum could be a, a, a temporary Mum. So maybe, therefore, you know, maybe a Zar is invalid. Maybe that doesn't apply to an Onain. An Onain is more temporary. So we say, no, Balmum Yochiach. A Balmum will prove you that even if it's not permanent, it's a problem. Okay? Fechazra did. Lo rezek rezev, lo rezek rezev. Each one is, has its own distinctiveness. The idea of a Zar has an idea of permanent. Maybe that's more powerful. The idea of a Mum has an idea that it applies actually to the animals themselves. Maybe that's more powerful. But but neither one has the other one's unique characteristics. Hatzad HaShavashabahen, the common denominator, Shein Musharim, that these are people that are not allowed to bring their, the korban in this state. And if they do, they desecrate it, they invalidate it. I'll include an onen. He's not allowed. And therefore, he desecrates it. So, and therefore, you cannot. So, so because of the common denominator of a mum and a czar, you're able to pretty much now apply it to everything else. Okay, now, but you have to then prove that these other things, other other statuses, you're prohibited. Okay, the Tzad HaShavah requires that you are for prohibited against bringing it in the state. So the Mar says, um, it's a Hechen Musar. Now, where do you know an Oni is not allowed to bring a Korban? So, Elam and Mimina Mikdash Loyet say that, you know, oh, Kohen Gadol doesn't go out. That implies that somebody who's a Kohen Hedio does have to go out and will invalidate. So, of course, if that's where we're learning it from, we don't need the Sahar Shavah. Okay, so Chila Begu thinks Eve so look, that was our first limit. Our first limit tried to learn it from Minamikdash Lo Yitzay. Then we wouldn't need a Tzara Shabbat. Then it's all packaged there. It's implicit that a normal coin has to go out. And if a normal coin stays, he invalidates. The reason we're doing the Tzara Shabbat is we're saying we don't want to learn from that puzzle. That Pasuk doesn't, we're, we're going to say, doesn't speak about what the real halacha is by a Kohen Hedyot. So we're learning from a Tzad HaShavah. So how do you know that a normal Kohen who's an Onain is prohibited? So Ella Mihaini Krivu, because Sarim Ninus Nisrifa, so which seems to be also like then why not just learn it out from that itself as well. Mm -hmm. But again, from the Haini Krivu, because again, if you go back to that saying Haini Krivu, so what, the way Rashi explains it is, to read it this way, it's like, what, did you think they did it? But it's not saying, had they done it, they would have invalidated. That's not implicit in the puzzle. What's implicit in the puzzle is, Aaron is saying, we didn't do anything wrong, because they weren't the ones who brought it, I was the one who brought it. 
So therefore, you can learn to read the Pusik this way and say that the issue is about being an Onain, and that's the emphasis. And Aaron is saying, hey, we didn't violate. They didn't bring it. I brought it. But still not say the Pusik makes it clear that had they done it, they would have invalidated. Okay, so it's a combination. This puzzle mm. makes it clear that they're not allowed to, that Aaron is saying they didn't do it, we didn't do anything wrong, but it's not clear that had they done it, they would have invalidated that. We learn out from the Tzad HaShavah. So this implies that you're not allowed to, and the Tzad HaShavah tells you if you did it, you invalidate. Because, okay, Eagle and Mifra, no, fine. So let's say we got that. An Onin is not allowed, and we make a Tzad HaShavah. But... Tzad HaShavah maybe won't apply to owning. There's a unique aspect of Baal Mum and Azar that doesn't apply to an owning. What is that? Ma'ala Tzad HaShavah Shabahin, Shekein Lo Hutru Michwala. Okay, a Tzar and a non-Kohen have exceptions. Excuse me, excuse me. Azar, excuse me, I said the wrong. No, Azar is a non-Kohen. Azar and a Baal Mum don't have exceptions. Azar is never kosher in the base of Mikdash. And a mum is never kosher in the base of Mikdash. Okay, whereas an owning is kosher in the base of Mikdash. Which Onin is kosher in the base Kohen of Mikdash? Kohen Gadda. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you can't say, oh, since a czar and a Balmum invalidate the same as an Onin. Since there's cases where an Onin is okay, an Onin Kohen Gadda, maybe even as an Onin head yoke, it won't invalidate. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because an Onin is not completely off limits in the base of Mikdash. Okay? So, Iklamifah. Ma'alat Zadu Shepard 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 Ah. So throw Tomei into the mix. Because Tomei, we know, invalidates. And Tame does have exceptions in the base of Mikdash. Mm -hmm. When can you uh, when can a Kohen who's Tame be do the avod of the Mikdash? Mm -hmm. Right. If it's Tumah Hutra Tibor, if everybody is Tame, mm -hmm. or okay. So if and it's a Korban Tibor. All right. So therefore you have cases which are sometimes allowed and still invalidate a Tame. And therefore the same should be true by an owning. Malatame Shakin Mitamin. Oh, but wait, Tame has the power to invalidate because a Tame makes other things Tame. Fine, not just by Tameh, you throw it into the mix. Just by Tameh, you'd have a way to bracket it. But Tameh and Balmum and Azar and all those things, so we got a general Tzadah Shava, you can't bracket it into any unique box. The general Tzadah Shava is you're not allowed and you invalidate, and don't try to say that only applies to things that don't have exceptions, because Tameh has an exception. Even things that do have exceptions invalidate, and therefore the same is true by an Oni. Okay? <coughs> um, okay. Uh, that's very narrow. Ah, one minute. We could say all those things, including Tamei, they never are mutter by a korban yachid by a kohen gadol. So the common denominator is we sort of like create the common denominator to be they're not an owning. Okay, the common denominator is that there's never an exception made for them. By a private korban, where because even Tame, the exception is only by korban sibur, whereas Onain, an exception is made by a private korban by a case of a kohen gadol. So maybe therefore you can't apply it to Onain because Onain actually has an exception even in the case of a private korban. So the Gemara says, but shame to mamia ishtri. No, I'm not impressed by that. Says the Gemara, if an exception is made then an exception is made. And since an exception is made by Tumma, and it still invalidates, then even then, therefore, even though exceptions are made by Onain, it will also still invalidate. Yes. Uh, Corbin Pesach is, is not considered a private Corbin? That is correct. It's considered enough of the Gemara discusses that. Technically, it's a private one, but because everybody's bringing it at the same time, mm -hmm. it's sort of, it, it, it's considered like a Corbin Seber. And actually, the real secret is, is that you don't even really need it to be a Corbin Seber to override. You really need it to be a Corbin with a fixed time. Shikavulo's mano. Corbin Seber is a bit of a misnomer. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Let's make it based on Yoshe, okay? And eventually we're going to circle back and make it a Tzad HaShavet. Okay, there's a very similar pattern to all these Gemara's. My Yoshev she'ochel imav v'chilel, onin she'en o'ochel in a din she'imav v'chilel, a Yoshev, somebody sitting who, uh, that he can eat the korbanot, but he invalidates. So an onin who can't eat certainly invalidates. Well, Yoshev she'en possible ages. So, ah, but one minute, a Yoshev is more powerful. It's invalid even to testify. Whatever, for whatever reason, that's relevant. The Yoshev tamad chacham. Oh, Yosef Talmud Chacham, he, you know, he can, he can testify, he, you know, he can testify, 
And therefore, so you can't try to limit it that way. No, okay, but at least there's some Yoshev that, that is invalid for S. Eidos, and therefore it's more powerful and you can't learn from it. Same Yoshev will parish. All right, that doesn't impress him. The fact is that there are some Yoshevs that are good, so don't try to limit it that way. Meme team so more parish. And if you do want to learn it, say that you can't learn that from Yoshev alone because Yoshev is more powerful because of this Eidos thing. So Asim Yoshev Mechad Nahanach. Make it as a Sada Shava from Yoshev and one of the other ones, okay? And again, the general rule is somebody that is prohibited, therefore, is, you know, not, is not allowed. And uh, therefore, it's prohibited, it validates. And then don't try to limit it by saying, well, how do we try to limit it? Remember, we try to limit it by saying, what do you call it? Um, no, we try to limit it by saying, um, um, uh, but there are exceptions. Well, there's no, you know, um, you know, by, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, by, 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 by Yoshe, by Siddhi. Oh, no, no, that's, excuse me, that's exactly because this is question. That if you're just learning it out from Yoshev, the Gemara could have said the same. If you look at this little Tosas, Asa B'Kavachon from Yoshev, Tosas says, Tema, Mal Yoshev, Shekemo Huter Micholo. The Gemara, did, why, why was Gemara happy when it said Yoshev? You could have said one minute. You're never, uh, sitting is never allowed. So don't say learn it as a Tzadish Ever Mano, like sitting in a Balmum, because no exceptions are ever made. Whereas by an own, whereas by, you know, whereas by an own aim, exceptions are made. So in the end, right, that's what bothered the Gemara before. So in the end, it's not clear why the Gemara is happier by introducing Yoshe. But at the end of the day, you throw in enough of the people that are invalid, and therefore you can't put anyone in a box. Okay, and the most we were trying to, the box we were trying to sort of say is, you can't apply it to an own aim because exceptions are made by an own aim, and therefore maybe it doesn't invalidate. And for that, you have to throw in the case of Tumma. If you throw in the case of Tamei, so Tamei exceptions are made, and nevertheless it invalidates, that allowed, uh, allows us now to say that an own aim, even though exceptions are made, invalidates. Okay, so either you have a specific Pasuk, like Hain Hayom, or by the Kohen Gadda where it says, um, or you don't have a general a specific process, you have a general principle. Anybody who's not allowed invalidates. And then when you try to limit that to say somehow, wait, there's something here that's unique, if you throw in enough cases, you won't be able to exclude the case we're dealing with. Okay, so if you want, so don't exclude owning because there are exceptions, throw in tame and a tame person where there's also exceptions, and that also invalidates, so owning as well will invalidate. Okay, so now the Gemara continues. I'm a rubber. Now this gets a little sort of complicated. Well, I don't know. I'm a rubber. Lo shanu el b'korban yachid. I will b'korban sibur miratza. And rubber's going to try to say that idea that an owning invalidates is only by a korban yachid, by a private korban. But by a korban sibur, actually, an owning will be good. Why even, is that? Even a non coin gadol. Even a non coin gadol. Right. So. Okay, he's going to do a kavah chomer. Kavah chomer mituma. Ma tuma shelo hutra michla leitza koin gadol the korban yachid hutra eitzel hediot the korban tzibur. So let's make a chart here, okay? So we've got here koin hediot, okay, and a case of tuma, okay. And here we've got koin gadol and a case of oni, okay. Now, if you have a case of, so here, Sibor is check, Yachid, Korban Yachid is no good. Okay, here, Sibor is good. Yachid, what we're going to assume is, okay, what does Robert say? One more time. Lo Shadam of Korban Yachid, Korban Sibor Maratza. Korban Sibor. Oh, we're going to, anyway, fine. We're going to assume that that's good. To find. Okay, so Koen Gadol, whether Tzibur or Yachid is good, and Koen Hedyot, it's only a Korban Tzibur that's good, right? Do you get that? Yeah. Batuma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Batuma. Yeah. Now we're trying to prove what's going to be the story by a Koen Hedyot by Oni. Okay, that's what we're going to try to figure out. He's going to try to say that it's good by a Korban Tzibur by Oni, by a Koen Hedyot. Let's see the Kavacho now. Okay. So, Kavachom Rituba, Ma Tuma Shilu Hutumi Chole, it's a coin god of the Korban Yachid. So, Tuma Ma Tuma Shilu Hutumi Chole, it's a coin god of the Korban Yachid. Yeah, well, okay, fine. Sorry, I know. It may be easier if you just make a grid. Two boxes by two boxes, you know what I mean? How do you think I should make it? I'm confused. All right. 
let's just let's just try to do it based on you know Tuma then Anino then Coin Cardo Coin you know Axis. All right, let's try that. No, but there's three. There's Coin Gado, Coin Hedia, two Maninos, and Sibur Yachid. Yeah, they could try two by two, two by each. two. Each. All right, let's try it that way. <laughs> two of my, I should have figured it out ahead of time. I thought I had it in my head, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Coin Gado and Coin Let's try it that way. Okay. Let's see, what, let's see if that gets it to us. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, uh, so it's seaboard obviously is checked. That doesn't need to be a coin gado, right? Here too, seaboard tuma is a check. But by a yachid, okay, there's no heter of tuma by a yachid, even by a coin gado. Okay, so, um, hutra eto hedyo per corbin seaboard. So here, Okay, seaboard by it makes so something that by kohen gadol by yachid is no good by kohen hedit by seaboard is good. Okay, aninus shehutra michala it's a kohen gadol by kohen yachid. So owning whether it's seaboard or yachid, right, is good for a kohen gadol. It's good. So shehut so it's a enu din shehutra it's a kohen hedit by kohen seaboard. How much more should so okay should this be ah, okay? So here. Um, when it comes to Tuma, it's not a total blanket okay by a coin gado, mm -hmm. and Sibur is okay, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's not a total blanket okay. So when it comes to Aninos, where it's a blanket okay by coin gado, right? Even the case of Yachid is okay. How much more show should Sibur be okay by a coin gado? That's the argument. You with, okay, you with me? I'm with you. I'm okay. not really. You're not, You're not buying, buying it. it. You're not <laughs> buying it. Okay, good. Well, that, the Gemara doesn't buy it either, okay? Because the Gemara says, as long as you're doing that, you can come to a lot of other possible yeah. conclusions, all right? So let's take a look, okay? Maskis um, Rav Bar Ehila, Rav Bar Lai Kiamus. Lotut Asa, if you're willing to make that types of Kavachomers, why, why do you come out to change that parameter? There's a lot of other parameters you could theoretically, you know, you come to a lot of other possible conclusions. I'm, I'm going to say that owning by Yachid, maybe this should be the one that we don't know. Okay? And maybe this is the one we should say X. And that's obviously the Pshat we assume not the way. The Pshat we assume is that you have a blanket hector by an owning. Of course, the Pshat is also that we assume that owning doesn't apply at all to a Kohen head yoke. So as long as you're willing to say things that are not explicit are, are up for grabs, I'll say, okay, maybe I'll come to a conclusion that a coin gadol, yachid, onin is no good. The Torah only allowed a korban sipur. How would I come to that conclusion? Well, just follow this, okay? Um, he says like this. Um, so tumah, which is good here, but sipur, okay, is not good by a coin gadol, but yachid. So... So something that's so 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 if it's good here, it's still not good there. So uh Aninos here, Aninos, which is not meaning here, meaning rather you're trying you were trying to say that makes this good. I'm gonna start with the opposite of something. I'm gonna switch everybody normally assumes. Okay, that according to Hedio, nothing is okay by Aninos. All right, so if I'm gonna start with the assumption that coin is not okay by Aninos, I'll say like this. Here, where Tzibur is good, Yachid is not good, right? By mm -hmm. Tuma, Tzibur is good by Hedyot, it's not, not good, Tuma by a coin gadol. So here, where Tzibur is not good, if I start with that assumption, then I'll make a Kabachomer that Yachid will not be good by an Oni, okay? Mm -hmm. So you assume, if this was a check, this was an X, if this was a check, excuse me, what did you say? You assume, I don't know, now I'm getting confused. You assume if this was a check, this was a check, I'm going to assume if this is an X, that's an X. Yeah. Okay? So, so how do we learn then the coin Goto or Kovar Yachid can be like Makrivone? Because the Pasuk just doesn't. Know what it <laughs> okay, why should we limit the Pasuk to a Korban Seaboard? Okay, anyway, but that's what we're trying to debate. Maybe we should limit it. Okay, so. Uh, okay. Now, or I'll say something else. So let me actually say that maybe I will sort of say, rather than assuming that that's an X, 
maybe I'm going to sort of figure out, maybe I'll find a way to say, the Kohen Gadol, Tuma Yochi, should be okay. How am I going to find a way to say that? Well, let's do it. Okay. The Tutar, where were we? Tuma, Eta Kohen Head, Yo, Per Corbin Seabor. Tuma, Shalom Hutter, Eta Kohen Head, Yo. Right. So now we're going to start by assuming that that's no good, which is, of course, the shot that there's no hetero of aninus for a coin head, yod, even by tuma. Okay, so that's not good. But we're going to assume, which is also the shot, that it's going to be okay by coin dado. Okay, so when Sibur is no good by coin head, yod, by aninus, it, it, it's good by a case here by a coin gado. Right, mm-hmm. Yachid. So here, where Tzibur is good by Tumma, it should also certainly be good by a coin Gadol Yachid. Right, if he has an X and he has a plus, and if he has a plus, there should certainly be a plus. And then I'll come to the conclusion that a coin Gadol for uh, by Tumma by Yachid is motor, which is also also not true. Okay, depending on which parameter you keep as 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 a given, you can come to a different conclusion for another one. No, we're not having any questions right now. Okay. Okay, third possibility. The low tutor Tuma eats a coin head yoke, a corporate seaboard, Mikal the Homer. Tuma eats a coin head yoke, a corporate seaboard. Ah, let me actually assume that maybe the whole hetter of, cor- of Tuma with seaboard, maybe that doesn't apply to, um, you know, maybe that's only limited to a coin goddam. That's going to be interesting. The whole time we talk about Tuma Hutter Petzibur, we're going to limit it to a coin goddam. Okay, we're going to say a coin head yo petzibur is not good. How are you going to say that? Um, uh, so here's the kavachomer. Um, where, where, where am I? The lotcher to me to coin head yo petzibur mi kavachom. Uma aninus shehutcher eitzel coin god of a coin yachid. Aninus shehutcher eitzel coin god. Okay, aninus you have a blanket. Okay, by a coin god. even by yachid. Lo hutcher eitzel coin head yo petzibur. So go this way. Here to plus because this may, this is a good place to start, right? Mm-hmm. Owning is good by a coin god though has no has no hector by coin head. So if this is a plus, and if even when this is a plus, this is going to be an x. So when this is an x, tuma by coin god though, so that, that going to be, be an x. Tuma seaboard by coin head Okay, so it's coin head for coin seaboard. Tuma shalot right there coin god of coin yachid. You know, ten shalot to coin head of coin seaboard. Okay, so for kids, sir. You can come to a lot of different conclusions based on which parameter you're going to start with, assume to begin with, and which one you're going to say is, is open for discussion. Ella, ikalami for hachi, ikalami for hachi. You can make a lot of different kavachomers depending on where you start. You don't know which one to start with. And therefore, kochada v'chada take of duch. They don't make any kavachomers. Just keep things the pshat. And the pshat is that Tuma is about Sibur, okay? And Tuma is only limited to the idea of Seabor. That's what Tuma is about. And Onain is only limited to the idea of Coin Gadol. Okay, it's the principle of Coin Gadol. Onain is the exception. Tuma Seabor is the exception. Don't try to put them into a grid and point out Kaba Homers and then make ex- exceptions within the exceptions. Okay, because then you'll have no idea where to start and where to end. Michael had yeah, a question. So, my question before was we say that Onain, the Coin Gadol, uh, yeah, it's okay. Does it mean that he must or that he can? Um, stay in the base of Mikdash? No, meaning that if he wants to do the avoda, that he can? Or, like, you know, let's say the Chavitin that he used to bring every day. Is yeah. After that, he went his own or can you say, all right, if I do it, it's okay, but I, I can, like, skip today because, like, you know, I really don't want to No, to it. I mean, you know, uh, to me, I'm going to say, he's not already in the base of Mikdash. No, but he can't skip the korbanot that he has to bring. No, I mean, the one that he's hired to bring. But the chavita don't really have to be brought on his behalf. I don't think he has to be one to do the avoda. Okay, so, just, so, just, right. so, just, so I guess you can see that. But skip. he's not allowed to be yotze. That's an explicit possum. Yotze means mean, like, 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 becoming, becoming tame, but not it, like he can, um, go, he can go home, right? You can't go after the mitzvah. I, like, I, 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 I have to check the exact parameters of that. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm saying is like, you know, I like, understand like, your question. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know the okay. answer off the top of my head. Yes, Charlie. I'm not used to seeing Rava get uh, this badly refuted. <laughs> uh, what can I tell you? It's, it is a very good response. Okay, yeah. we will end here. <coughs> uh, we end a little early. Let's pick up tomorrow.